I'm 10 years old. This is my first time wild camping. Let's go right to it. Let's do it. Okay, so we're here in a place where we've been before car camping, uh, a little bit further up the road. Um, and in that video, I, I mentioned that there was a, a potential good place to be uh, to wild camp, which is basically where we're here tonight. It's going to be just there. Next to that hut, and we've got a lovely background. Or lovely backdrop, shall I say, of the D estuary um, with no water in at the moment. But that'll change when the tide comes in. But we are plenty high enough to not have to worry about the tide coming in for where we're going to be. Um, it's at the bottom of a slipway. So we need to be up early in the morning because they will be coming with their boats. Um, I've not checked the times yet of the tides, but we need to be up early by dawn anyway. Nice little sunset going on over there. Somewhere over there. Um, nice and orange. We've all seen that before. Right, should we go and get some food, mate? Mm -hmm. Let's go and get some scran. Hot dogs? Yeah. Let's do it. Look, rubbish. Go and pick that up. Let's take that away. Still got what? It's still got stuff in it. Still. Scumbags, pour the thing out and we'll take the rubbish away. That went all over my foot. Well, let's hope it's lemonade then. Don't smell it. Yeah. Does it smell like lemonade? It's lemonade. No, I know the can says lemonade. That doesn't mean anything. Right, it come on, bring like, that with you. It smells like lager. It smells like lager. Yes. Don't be saying that. Okay, we are back. Food is complete and has been acquired. Simple sausages in hot dog buns. Um, you're having a bit of ketchup? Yeah. I am having Nando's Peri Peri garlic sauce, which is a perfect addition to any hot dog. Let's just see if I can do this on camera. Oh no, too much on it. Too much on it. There you go. Or can you have too much peri peri sauce? Well, it depends if that goes on your clothes or not. Anyway, I don't know what it is. I'm going to absolutely horrifically try and eat one of these. Big <laughs> Hmm. Oh, yeah. Nice. Do you want catch up? Best food to have, isn't it? Nice and simple. Huh? There you go. Hot dogs are the greatest. Right, give that a taste test. Is it as you'd expect? Sausages, ketchup and bread roll, yeah? Spot on. Good camping food? Yeah. The best. Mm -hmm. Spot on. Right, I'm going to munch these and we'll get catch up with you in a bit. Well, that's those deleted. Right, we may have a little bit of a problem. In fact, no, we have a problem. The sailing club which is at the top of this jetty, or the top of this slipway, is now allowed to serve alcohol, which means it's open like a bar, which means it's open and serving alcohol till at least 11 o'clock, which means it's going to be horribly late by the time we can actually pitch a tent risk-free, well, with small risk. And there's people coming down the slipway all the time. It's not a stealthy place, this. Not ideal. And now they're all watching me looking at looking at a camera and talking. But hey, let them judge. Anyway, I will update you when we've got an update on where we can actually do something. So, the sailing club is that building there, which is not ideal, seeing as though 
we're looking at camping. We're looking at camping just down there. So, rethinking. Is there a chance or possibility we could pitch it somewhere in here? Although I don't really want to. I want to pitch on the beach because you want to wake up on the beach. And when you've got that kind of backdrop, why wouldn't you? So, still going to aim to pitch up on the beach, but it's going to be done in the dark. Okay, we're all set up. Here it is. Doors open. Not the stealthiest tent, it's a bit purple, but yeah, we're tucked away here. Anyway, so we're all set up anyway, and, uh, and we're good to go inside, which you can't see because it's too dark. Now oh, I'll get light in a bit. Just got a couple of sleeping bags and uh, and the kit bag. And the key to any good night's sleep is what, will you? A backwards onesie. Oh, onesie, absolutely. Essential to any stealth camp. Okay, we are all set and good to go. You comfy? Yeah. Good? Excellent stuff. Um, I'll keep this short because we don't want the flash on for too long. Um, but we're all set. It's actually really cosy. And uh, although it's, it's pretty much gone dark outside, so I can't, uh, there's no point in showing you any views right now. But when we get up in the morning, I'll show you the views we've got because it's, uh, it's pretty nice. See you later. Okay, well, while these two numpties are sleeping, I might as well take the opportunity to thank you for watching the video because they're clearly not going to. If you have enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out and uh, come along for the ride for more adventures coming along soon. Right, I'll go let you get back to the perfectly normal activity of watching somebody sleeping in a tent. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, mate, you okay? Yeah. How did you sleep? Mm. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, comfy enough? Mm-hmm. Warm enough? Ish. Ish. Not ideal, but uh, at least you slept okay. Right. I slept fine. Let's uh, get this front open from daylight. It's about 5 5.30? Yeah. 5.30. And a little bit grey. Sun will be coming up over there. It went, went down over there. So yeah, it should be, it's going to be an overcast, cloudy-ish morning, but still, there are worse places to wake up. Yeah, very nice. Right, I think it's time to get some hot water on for a coffee, or at least a can of red chunder. The red chunder has been acquired as it was affectionately named by somebody in one of the comments of uh, the last video and red chunder is perfectly apt for the uh, for the taste but it's high in caffeine and warm oh. <coughs> not ideal but it's alright Okay, breakfast. It's dead simple this morning. It's one of the uh, one of the little porridge pots that's uh, dead easy to do. Just add some boiling water to it, golden syrup. But the lad absolutely loves them. And as it's his first little stealth camp, I said we get what he what he wants for breakfast. I'll be honest, I was fairly pleased when he didn't say a full fry up. It's not ideal to be uh, making one of those when, uh, when you're trying to stay stealthy. Right, I'm going to get this hot water on and I'll catch you when we make a bit of progress. This was the cheapest stove I could find on, uh, <clears throat> on Amazon. It is starting to fall apart already. It's only... Uh, 
only a couple of months old. The little arms don't fold all the way down, they're sort of half melted and bent. But, ah, maybe time to invest in a half decent one. Got any recommendations for a reasonably priced, decent stove burner? Um, you know, the Pocket Rocket from MSR is pretty good. But any other recommendations would be appreciated. Don't really want to venture into jet boil uh, price ranges. Still functions. Let there be light. Noisy. I don't know if any of you, well I assume some of you, will wear contact lenses. I'd be interested to know how you, uh, you got any tips and tricks for contact lenses when away. Because I have dailies, I can't sleep in them. I always find them a nightmare to, uh, oh I, I always forget them first of all, but I've remembered them this morning. So I'm not just stuck in my glasses. So, uh, don't like people touching eyeballs. Just uh, skip this a little bit. Slick. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee, and then I think I'm gonna take this tent down. So I can already hear people. In fact, I can see people as well, like right down the other end of the beach there. So if I can see people and hear people, there's every chance there's people coming here pretty soon. Right. There was not a breath of wind last night either, which is the first time in the UK for so long but absolutely lovely, so we didn't even need any guy ropes. I know we were sheltered by the cliffs behind us, but absolutely lovely to have a nice still night, not flapping canvas around. Yeah, I contributed to a decent nice kit. Right, that's tents away. Okay, buddy, breakfast served. Yeah, buddy. Enjoy. I'll take your fork. You don't need that for porridge. That's my coffee fork. <laughs> anyway. It's really hot. It's really it's hot. It's also really nice. Okay. Excellent stuff. Right. You enjoy that. I will. Yeah. That adjust. There you go. That's a nice pretty sky this morning. Fair bit of cloud. I think Hopefully, that should clear up later. Enjoying it? Yeah. Awesome stuff. Okay, and that is us done. He's 10 years old, it was his first stealth camp, all done and dusted. As you'd expect, left no trace. I hope you've enjoyed it. What do you think of stealth camping? Stealth camping? Completed it, mate. Nice. See you later.